All right, uh, so geometry, this is a proof from section 6.4. So it gives us that uh, ABCD is a parallelogram and that segment AB is congruent to segment BC. So what this is basically saying is that you have a rhombus, right? This is saying that you have a rhombus because if uh, this is a parallelogram, then AB is congruent to CD, so they'd be congruent, and BC be congruent to AD, they'd be congruent, so all four sides are congruent. They just don't tell you that. It's okay. We want to prove that AC is perpendicular to segment BD. And I hope that when you see this upside down T, you think of right angle. The way that you prove two segments perpendicular, that's these diagonals, is by making sure something is a right angle. And let's focus on this angle BEC. I want to make angle BEC a right angle. Now, to do this proof, you have to use two triangles that are next to each other, like these two. Okay. In other proofs, we might have used ones that are across each other in our parallelogram proofs, but here we're going to use ones that are next to each other. The reason is to prove that this angle is a right angle right here, you have to focus on these two angles together and the two relationships they share. So I'm going to draw this picture out to the side, right? So here's my, here's AC and then here's EB. So if I want to prove these two are right angles. I have to show two things about them first. I have to show that they are supplementary. Well, of course they're supplementary because they form a linear pair. And then secondly, I have to show that they're congruent and they're going to be congruent by CP, CTC because I'm going to prove those two triangles congruent. Okay. So this is going to be a triangle congruence proof. So we have to use the given and the ideas about this being a parallelogram in order to prove that these two uh, that these two um, triangles are congruent first. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So let me erase some things first. All right, so this is a parallelogram, right? In a parallelogram, we know that the diagonals bisect each other. So AC and BD bisect. If I want to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle, then I want to use along segment AC, I want to use the fact that AE and CE are going to be congruent because, again, the diagonals bisect each other. So that can be my next step. Segment AE, sorry, AE is congruent to CE. And I'm looking for the one that says in a parallelogram, uh, in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect each other. Oh, well, you know what I have to do first? So watch. I have to say that they bisect each other first. So watch this. Sorry, this is, this is something that you know, I'm getting used to the proof, right? So we are first going to say, so we're not going to try that. We're going to say that segment BD bisects segment AC right here. So I'm going to say that segment BD bisects segment AC. And the reason is now going to be the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Great. So now, so now I know that AC is split into AE and CE, which are congruent. So AE. So you can see that I have to learn how to use this software too, AE and CE. And this is because a segment by so divides a segment into two congruent parts. Awesome. They're, and they're marked. And now these two triangles also share side BE. Remember, we always use the shared side that they're touching, and that's going to be reflexive property. So segment BE is congruent to BE, and that is the reflexive property. And now I'm going to take away, well, I'm not going to take away. These triangles are now going to be congruent by side, side, side. Name them in corresponding order. I'll go ABE, so triangle ABE. ABE corresponds to CBE. And that is side, side, side. Great. Okay, so I'm going to erase some markings now. Let's review our proof as a whole. So, so far we're there. So again, let's not lose the story. The story is I want to prove that BEC is a right angle. So let me talk about these two angles, angle AEB and angle 
uh, angle AB and angle CEB. So first of all, I know they're congruent, right? That's from the triangles being congruent. So I know that angle AEB is congruent to CEB, and that's by CPCTC. Again, I want that to follow the congruent triangles. Great. I also know that they are supplementary because they form a linear pair. Again, in the picture, they form this straight line with EB coming off it. So these two angles add up to 180. They're a linear pair. So I know that the two angles are supplementary, and that is AEB and CEB. Supplementary because linear pair are supplementary. Awesome. And now I know two facts. I know these two angles are congruent, and I know they su are supplementary. Supplementary means add to 180. Congruent means the same. So the only two angles that are the same and add to 180 are 90 and 90. Because 90, 90 is 180. That means that these two angles are right angles. That means that angle BEC is a right angle. And that is because angles which are supplementary and congruent are right angles. Boom. And now that BEC is a right angle, I can say what I want to prove, that AC is perpendicular to BD. And that is because if two, if, uh, if two intersecting lines form a right angle, then they are perpendicular. All right, green check mark. I'll erase my markings, and I want that bigger green check mark. Yes. So this is a difficult proof. It is. That's why I did this one for you. Okay. It is not simple, especially step seven and eight with that whole supplementary writing. So again, I showed you this. So it's your job to replicate this, right? It's your job to replicate this. All right. Let me. Uh, I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to do uh, a, another video with a proof and then this other type of problem I'm going to have you guys do.